Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Michelle Sturgeon with Come Stamp With Me, coming to you from a very hot and muggy Ontario, Canada. Today we're going to be making another vintage inspired card that looks like this. And we'll be using two stamp sets, very Versailles, and a little lace. We're also going to be using the um, stitched lace background. And I've already used my Big Shot and did the stitched lace background and used my tool to um, take out all the little confetti pieces. But I am going to show you how I'm going to make the scallop part because that uh, stitched lace comes with two dies. It comes with the part that makes the actual lace panel and it comes with this part to cut out some scallops. I'm going to show you that right now. So here's my big shot. As you can see I've got this piece already cut out and I'm going to place it. I'm going to find the exact spot that I want. up a little bit more. This is the hardest part is finding the exact area that you want to cut out and make sure that it's even on all sides. Put my plate on. Don't need that piece. And then we're going to layer it again on the other side. Again, don't do that. put the big shot away. Then I'm left with this band. I think that's really, really cool. Now, obviously, the band is longer than what I need, but uh, I'm ignoring that phone call. So. What you're going to need for your card is your card base cut at um, five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. And your second piece, uh, sorry, your card panel is cut at five by three and three quarters. And then this is an eighth of an inch bigger, so it is five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. Um, what I'm going to do is glue with my Tombow liquid glue. I'm going to glue my uh, scallopy strip down here so that it'll have a chance to dry while we're stamping. And I'm going to kind of position it so that it looks even on both sides. Oops. And I'm going to use my paper snips, which I found. I'm always losing these things. This time they were not on the bottom of my Stamparatus though. There, so that we've got this piece and I'm just going to set that aside to dry. And now we get to do the fun part. I love this part. This is the stamping part. And you know, it's really funny. I've never been one who really likes this vintage look, but I'm loving these stamp sets so much. So the words from the very Versailles, I put down on my block this way and I take the ink from above so I can get it. You want to make sure your words are in the right position. You don't want to stamp your words upside down. I'm going to stamp it once. Oh, darn, it's a little crooked. Well, it doesn't matter. And turn it over the right way. Oh, no. Totally messed that up. Ah, I need a completely new piece of white there. That white is... That white got messed up. You get to see me cut now. Five three and three quarters. Okay, let's try that again. My hands, are they clean? Okay. There and there, much better. Then I'm going to take the leaf of stamp 
And I'm going to use basic gray for that one. And that's going to go just here on the side. Oh, that looks so good. All right, basic gray again with this part from Very Versailles. And it'll go there. <laughs> and this line of whatever, I don't know, this little design, this design line, go down at the bottom. And again, there. Oh, I love it. Okay. Then I want petal pink and the little flower from a little lace. I'm going to add some of petal pink on this card. Just again, random stamping. Don't ask me how I figure out where everything's going to go. I just kind of look and where I think needs a piece of pink, I put a piece of pink. There, I don't want to overwhelm it though. I want there to be white space. I love it. Then we take our adhesive. Remember that day I did the studio tour and everything was so clean and looked like my area was always, like my area is never clean like that. If you could see what my area looked like now, you'd be like, no wonder she loses her paper snips all the time. Okay. I like having a nice one eighth of an inch border. I find it looks very elegant. Woohoo! And oh my goodness, it is so mucky today. I can feel my hair falling. My air conditioner is so loud, I had to turn it off for this video or you wouldn't have been able to hear me. And now our card is put together. So I need the panel that we did earlier. I'm going to glue that on. All right, I'm going to position that about there. I want there, I'm going to be putting a word there, but I want to still be able to see that. So I'll use this piece that I goofed up earlier to put my word on. So that is the thank you stamp from A Little Lace, stamped in uh, basic gray. And then that will be punched out with the one inch circle punch. And I need a dimensional for that. And that'll go right down here in the middle. So there's still some area showing of that. I don't know, a finial frame, I guess it would be. Now comes the cool part. I'm going to use the very beautiful organdy striped ribbon in petal pink. I wish they made this in other colors. I would, I would buy all of it. I think this is my favorite ribbon that we've ever, ever, ever had. So I'll make my bow. And I'm making it a little bit bigger because I will be um, heating this and it's going to crinkle up, which is really cool. All right, so I am at the very, very edge of how far my um, heat gun can go. So hopefully you'll be able to see this. Now you definitely want to hold it with something because the heat gun's going to get really hot. I'm just going to heat it up a little bit because uh, this has to be hot in order to crinkle up this ribbon. looks all crinkled up like that all right I want to cut this 
so this didn't work out exactly the way I wanted. And so by heating it, it uh, melts the nylon of the ribbon and gives it that little crinkly look. And we're going to need a glue dot to glue that ribbon on. Which way do I want it? This way, I think. And there you have it. A very pretty, elegant, and very easy to stamp out thank you card using a little lace and very Versailles and some pretty cool ribbon. All right, so thanks a lot for joining me. Um, I appreciate you watching my videos. I hope they're getting a little bit better as I'm getting more comfortable using um, the software and, and uh, the editing and whatnot. Um, if you'd like to order, you can place an order, go to my website and press the shop now button. You can order anytime. It'll get shipped to you anywhere in Canada. If you need a catalog and you don't currently have a demonstrator, send me an email and I'll get one out to you in the mail. And as always, thank you for joining me and thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, um, and have a great uh, Canada Day weekend. Thanks. And I